Welcome back to the race. This is week 133, day seven, the final day. Um, we got two more defense uh, matches since last night. So let's take a look. So if you've seen Edgar's on defense, which I'm pretty sure you guys have, there are two variations. There's the Bonfire Edgar and there's Gale Force Edgar. So I've been running Gale Force Edgar on my defense. And both of them are good. They have bo both of them have their strength and weaknesses. And on this one, we'll get to watch why Gale Force Edgar. Uh, what? Mm, how to say this? Uh, a good justification why why to use Gale Force Edgar. So let's take a look. We got Peony with Blazing Wind, Wings of Mercy, and Guidance. Gwenny. Guinevere reposition, um, speed rest solo, plus one Edgar reposition, those with Sparrow, plus four, plus five Ninja Lin, desperation, death blow, uh, reposition, and finally the brother on Edgar, and this is a bonfire uh, with Mystic Boost. All right, so start by breaking stuff. Alright, beta unit like most people have been doing. So yeah, unit can actually do a pretty good chunk of damage to Edgar. I mean, she would if she could, you know, survive one hit to double. Now here they're gonna breed without Grima, but we have already know we already know that Grima can take one bonfire because we already seen it happen. Face your mortality. And then more repositions and swaps. Go after the armor school. Nice Corrin Storm. And of course, Negating Fang. That means she will definitely not die. Crumble to ash. So I don't know. Maybe Corrin needs to run like special spiral just to make sure that something like this she'll always have her special afterwards. There's like a few way um B skills that she can run, but Uh, it requires you to do something else for like example if you want to run with special spiral then you need to have like some kind of pole oh, infantry so pole support on her so she can have the getting fang ready at the beginning of the turn Go for it. all right so this plus was well, a plus four yeah. or plus five lane against my sothis Accept your punishment is not able to kill my sothis I mean it's not able to kill her without getting her back because of course yourself. she quads all right now if you look right here you will notice why gale force edgar this is one of the advantages of gale force edgar See, she just went around and killed her Guinevere where they were not expecting it. And here goes Robin again. Face your mortality. This time she was able to one-shot us. Yeah, so this is... One of the advantages of using Gale Force Edgar, she can just 
go around and catch unsuspecting um, enemy units. And with this one, we'll see a case for the opposite, right? Maybe you want to run Bonfire, Edelgar. So we got Mila, uh, Reposition Ignis, Fortress Defres. Plus 5 Peony with Ether Fury, Wings of Mercy, and what is it? HP. I mean, Attack Speed 2. Flame with uh, the Luge Bomb, Attack Rest Push, and Distant Guard. Plus 3, plus 7 Lucina, Mumbo, Double Switch Sparrow, Attack Defense Link, and Distant Guard. And New Year Saltina, I mean Christmas Saltina with reposition and distant defense. So here they make very good use of their Lucina, especially since she's a bonus unit. And here they're taking advantage of that attack res unity on Altina because plus 31 res. I shall bestow a gift. Here, I'm not sure they're gambling a trap or if they know that's the real trap. I mean, the fake trap. It looks like they're gambling, and, but who knows? Maybe they took a look at the channel and so. Oh, okay. I know this is a real trap and this isn't the fake one. It could happen. I mean, you never know. So here, even though they buff Lucina, it doesn't really matter because we run a uh, dull range. I think it was more to like remove her debuffs if she had any. The future can be changed. And yeah, there's no way they're gonna initiate against Corin with Lucina. Here, um, I would say they should not have activated their Vantage. Because, yeah, she would have gotten the kill if they had not activated Vantage. But it's also possible that they did it only to get her Twin Blades active. Prepare yourself. Now here Sotis would have killed if it wasn't for flame support. The future can be changed. Let me see. So yeah, this now right here they're just wasting Twin Blades. And now it's just take on Brave Edgar. I mean, I've fallen Edgar. Now they know that's a real trap, so they're using it for damage on Edgar. Which, yeah, which does um, bring me to believe that they might have known that that was a real trap. Now see, Bonfire Eragal would have killed Lucina over here, even with Flame support. So this is what I said, this one is trying to make a case for Bonfire Eragal over Gale Force Eragal. And luckily for them, we were outside of Healing Tower. So that was pretty much unnecessary because oh, Altina would have been able to do 22 damage. 
Actually, no. I don't think Altina got that kill because of the damage reduction on the first hit. So, yeah. They needed to be able to hit with Lucina before sending in Altina. And basically, Flane was the one that kept Alti uh, Lucina from getting killed. All right, so that's that. Let's do our final match of the week. We have a Tiandra. This is um, Osumaru. Another, wait, no. Technically, yes, yes. This is still a uh, return trap, or well, rescue trap, I guess. So we got Flame. Tiandra, Mia, Brave Hector, Yune, and Winter Bernadetta. So we can shut down Flame, and that basically stops the trap. It is still a cab line, so these two spaces are still be able to be hit. And this is a far save Hector, so. Um, I say we just go with Leon again. We can break this, dance Leon from underneath, put him here, and then shove him over here. And that pretty much is it. Yeah, and we can shut down Flame with... Um, shut down Flame with Mila. So it would be like this. Mila here. Um... Yeah, Mila here, uh, Valoria right here, Leon here, uh, Air right here. So Air breaks this, Leon moves over here, Valoria shoves him, or Mila breaks this, a peony dances and moves out of the way. You got one, two, three. So there's no way to reach over here if we get rid of flame. I mean, if stop flame. Yeah, we'll go with the Leon team. We could also go with this team. Nah, I don't really want to deal with Mia. So we'll just go with this team. All right, you go right here, you go right here, you go over here, actually not, yeah, doesn't matter at this time, you need to move up, so yeah, we can go like this, could even be like this, just, but like this I can give him some buffs, So, yeah. Can I get Valoria to transform? But that's not really a problem. Air is only here to destroy this. So we can put Leon over here. And then she gets to move out of the way. I bestow my blessing. So break this. Even if she had like odd poles, uh, not odd poles, odd recovery, it wouldn't matter because. You cannot odd recover yourself. Death's caress. Break this. Good morning. Dance. The glimmer of Move life. out of the way. Right, boss. Tear them to Put shreds. Leon right here. Okay. And then get him up there. And who cares if you have huh? far save or near save or any kind of save skills? And we actually eat your dancers, so yeah, you never will get dance because well, you does have a lot of grass. Do you challenge me? But she's still not in range of anybody else. It does hurt me with the um, healing a little bit. Oh, 
only a little bit. The time has come. Yeah, here comes Bernie. She also has damage reduction, which again doesn't really matter. The time has come. Since nothing could bring us below uh, below quick repose range. Now we can bait them both out and leave. Hector by himself by just going right here. Yep, it's rescue, so what now? can break this, it will be break done. this, Maybe this, get this way. ether. No guard anymore, so do you challenge me? Ta! Yep, time this is come. done, and here comes Flame. Well, I think she does zero damage. Yeah. And all that is left is a Hector. Yeah. The time has come. So yeah, pretty easy fight to end the week. Death's caress. Ready. The glimmer of life. If you say so. Keep up. Back to work. Okay. Like this. Tear them to shreds. Um, do I wanna kill him? I wanna let Back to work. We'll let Beloria get the kill. It will be done. So we'll move Beloria right here. Mm. What, now? what solo does she have? Attack defense solo, so I bestow my blessing. We'll move her here. Back to work. Go right here. Move Leon over here. Maybe this way. Got him. Good morning. A little bit of dance. Right, boss. Yes. And then we'll just let Beloria get Hector. And that's it. Very easy match at the end of the week. A lot of these rescue traps really fall, um, really fail if you go like way deep in where they don't actually have a chance to restore or return anybody. All right, so we made it to tier 39 and as of right now we are rank 1500, 14, 17, so we'll end up around 1500. We still have a few hours left till reset. Three hours and three hours and 10 minutes before reset. So unfortunately we did not make it top 1k. It's really hard to make it top 1k on light season. Uh, but Probably did make one top 1k Oren with this Ewan. Kako. And maybe CLA. Plus 10 plus. So yeah. Uh, probably made top 10. Yeah, I mean. It's about an 80 point difference between ECLA and me. And then it's over 300 points for Kako and Oren. So I'm 
they're pretty safe into tier one, a uh, top one game. But let's look at everybody. Uh, Michael, Promise, both make it to uh, tier 39. Dark Luster just missed it by 24 points, but he did manage to pull an Ashera. Manage defense because her defense is so high that this really brings her ball down to like 54. Well, and that's only because of this HP seal, so. Technically, she only has like what? 49 bulk? That's pretty bad. Uh, we got Matt. Neil Sourceman. John. Brave Blitz. Logan. Actually. I, what is it? 20. So, Brave Blitz. If she hasn't played yet. Logan, if he hasn't played yet, they're going down from Bolt of Heaven, just because 2,800 is the cutoff. Yakiomi, Kenny, uh, yeah, I think this is coming back to Bolt of Heaven, it's Kenny, Ducks, Silver, Alon, Lemres, I believe so, Ghostin, Diego, Alphonse, yeah, I think it's 13,400 to come back up. So Bean, Brandy, and Gothic Amethyst missed it, but for Bean, that's what she wants, so. Nothing to lose there. Um, next week, for next week defense, um, I'll probably come up with a new defense team. Uh, Tracier's back, and that's good because Tracier, my Tracier has good merges. So I don't know, maybe we'll go with a variation on this just so we can include uh, another of the uh, Fallen Heroes. Um, one of you told me that um, female Fallen Morgan has been working out for you, so I might want to um, find get a team so I can put female Fallen Morgan on it. I probably will still keep um, Lara Shell on the team just because she's so useful. And, you know, maybe Erica since she's the duo unit. So we'll see. We'll see what we come up with next week. But definitely will be a Fallen Hero. Maybe not Edelgar. As for summoning, uh, of course, Mythic Banner is here. And I still got five days till this. Six days till this. And... Two days till this. So I'm going to be summoning tomorrow since I got to work today. So no time to do that. We'll definitely see if we can get Ashera. Uh, and it depends on how many we spend to get. Um, the only... Yeah, Ashera will pretty much be the only priority we have over here. We'll still do full circles just because that's how I like it. And then... I don't know, we'll debate whether we go for the... Spend 135 hours to get another Edelgar for merges. We'll see how much uh, hours we have left after this. But that's it for today. So um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.